Ah yes, the internet. Filled with crazy people and bad ideas. <sighs> Everyone has fears, they're meant to keep us safe, but in these modern times they tend to hold us back. Failure and the thought of not amount to anything is what scares me. But I'm not here to tell you about all my insecurities and fears. Rather, I'm here to tell you about the story of how I finally knew I conquered my fear of heights. It's not a fear of heights, rather it's a fear of falling. For most people this is the case, but it's true for almost all fears if you think about it. It's the what if this happens scenario, no matter how small the odds of it actually happening are. Once I started to understand that, it all sort of clicked. So a couple years after that, I decided to see if it really worked. I was planning this for about a month, watching tons of YouTube videos of people climbing cranes, and even did research on what to expect and how to be as safe as possible. Then, I found the perfect crane in the perfect area. This was a few years ago when I was still in high school. After a couple failed attempts to sneak out, I finally got the perfect opportunity. Only thing was, it was on a school night. Huh, that didn't stop me or my friend. So at 1am he picked me up and we headed over to the location. Once we got there we started to walk over. But the thing was both of us were under 18 at this time. Since it was way past curfew that meant that we had to sneak all the way to this construction site while avoiding the heavy police presence in the area. We were just about there, only one street left to cross. Then we see a cop car turn down our street so we hid behind a brick wall and let him pass. As soon as he was gone, we made a mad dash across the street and hopped the eight foot fence around the construction site. Then we had to walk around the inside for a little before we figured out how to get up. But once we made it to the top, we had a much better view of the crane. It was exactly what we wanted. Climbing up was easy, just ladders and platforms to the operator's box. Once we got up there, it was very cool, but it was nothing like the YouTube videos. So, I put my gloves on to stop my hands from getting all greasy, and I stepped over the railing. Hey, we made it. Instantly, I could feel my heart start to beat through my chest. Yes, I was scared because I was 100 feet up in the air on the arm of a crane. A single slip would have meant death. Then I remembered, I'm not afraid of heights, I'll be fine as long as I don't fall. One foot after another, I inched my way across the arm, snapped some cool pictures on the way of course, all the way till the end, and then I did the same thing on the way back to the platform. Luckily we made it back to the car without incident. There was an incident when I got home though. The window I had climbed out of was locked. Long story short, I had to open up the garage door and take the risk of waking up everyone. Luckily though, I got back in without a problem. Now, am I happy that I did this? Well, if you asked me at school the next day with only three hours of sleep, I would have probably said no. But looking back on it, yeah, I'm happy I gave crane climbing a try. Otherwise, I would still be daydreaming about trying it. The real question is, would I do it again? It was fun and all, I got the adrenaline pumping, but it's not worth the risk involved. Ooh, I just had a better idea. I could always try sneaking onto the roof of a skyscraper and see if that's any fun.